Okay, so you open up Pro Tools, Logic, etc. to do some mixing. Perhaps you want to sweeten up a drum track. To do this, you fire up one of your EQ or equalization plugins. But what are you actually looking at when you see that graph-like thing with peaks and troughs in it? You're seeing a representation of what's called the frequency domain. And after watching this video, you'll not only know exactly how to navigate any EQ plugin, but you'll know exactly why it works the way it does. The frequency domain is what many sound processors, effects, and software plugins use to change the color of sound. It is the basis for all software equalizers, phase vocoders, and any effect or analysis tool with the word spectral in front of it. But what do we mean when we say frequency domain? Remember in math class when you were studying graphing and the teacher was talking about a quote-unquote domain? If you don't, here's a refresher. On a graph, the domain is the property on the x-axis. Let's say you have a graph with temperature plotted over time. Time on the x-axis would be the domain of the graph. When looking at audio data, such as that stored in your logic session, on a graph, sound is usually represented by amplitude over time. Because time is on the x-axis, we call this a quote-unquote time domain representation of sound. This is what you're looking at every time you see those weird squiggly lines on a track you've just recorded. However, this view of a sound wave is missing one crucial piece of information, the frequencies that make up the sound being recorded or played back. Because we associate musical pitches, and therefore instrument ranges, with frequency, it's essential to also understand the frequency-based representation of the sound you capture. Frequency, which we measure in hertz, or number of wave cycles per second, is directly related to pitch. The higher the frequency of the sound, the higher the pitch, and vice versa. In order to see what frequencies are present in a sound, we swap out time from the x-axis and replace it with frequency. Now we can see all the frequencies present in a waveform and the amplitude of each frequency. We call this a quote-unquote frequency domain representation of sound. Now take a look at your equalizer again. What you see is a graph, usually with one flat horizontal line down the center by default. This is a frequency domain graph. Along the x-axis, the EQ plugin shows you different frequency values. Along the y-axis, it shows you the amplitude at each frequency, giving you the option to either boost or cut the amplitude of a certain frequency range. The main frequency you boost or cut is called the center frequency. The gain determines the change in amplitude of that frequency, and the Q, or bandwidth, determines how wide a range of frequencies around the center frequency is also affected. That's the simplicity of any EQ, and it's all thanks to this thing called the frequency domain. For a more in-depth look at equalization and its uses in audio production, check out our advanced EQ video. Happy mixing.